Now, our first guests are part of one of the most successful bands in British pop history. Uh, in a career spanning 20 years, they've notched up 13 top 10 hits, three UK number ones and four number one <laughs> albums. Huh? Here's a reminder of a couple of their hits. Uh, please welcome Marty Pellon and Graham Clark to the show. Uh, Memphis. Tickets. Memphis, Tennessee. Keys, sorry. Keys. 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 Keys to the Why? city. Well, you know, we first went there in 1986 and made an album in, the, in Memphis with Willie Mitchell and Carla Thomas and Peebles and stuff like that. And so Memphis has been a good city, and that's where our love of the city began so way back do then. You go there a lot? Go there lots of times. Made a couple of albums there and did a gig at BB King's place and they gave me the keys to the city. Have you been to Elvis's house? Yeah. Yeah, several times. Yeah. Several times, yeah. We had a couple of parties there once. We went to a party there with Priscilla and stuff like that. Really? We were yeah. doing a kind of tribute, wasn't it? It was a tribute. It was a tribute yeah. in the Pyramid, uh, which is a gig yeah, yeah, yeah. in Memphis. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was all sorts of big American acts, you know, a lot of rock acts. Um, None of which I can remember right now, but uh, <laughs> you know, it was, it was a huge gig, honest. Uh, and, and we played and we did It's Now or Never. And, mm -hmm. and you went back and worked with Billy and he no, gave you the keys to the city. It's not that big his house, is it? No, really? no, it isn't really, but uh, I think it's you know, just so many people flock to there. And there's that yeah. great hotel, it's beside it, the Heartbreak Hotel, yeah. where people go and get married all the time in there. They've got, uh, they just try and emulate his. His house in this hotel. But the Can weirdest I... thing about it, Memphis, though, you'll be shopping and a normal sort of doing your groceries or whatever, and there'll be people dressed up as Elvis just wandering about. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's really odd. There's so many. I don't so want to ask you all because you, you'll know this better than me, but I went there just to visit and I was there for a few days. I said, let's go where the locals live. So I went to this right. bar and, and I went, they took me to a party in the end, even mm -hmm. though the cab drivers are like, oh, we don't want to go to where the locals are. But <laughs> it's, it's quite dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> it is, but they took right. me to a party and I got talking yeah. to them. And they were quite depressed about the Elvis thing because they said it's just taken over their town and they mm -hmm. can't escape it everywhere. It's Elvis, well, that, Elvis, that, Elvis. That's right. I mean, I think, you know, we, we kind of, when we worked with Willie Mitchell, who was a big Memphis producer, you know, his grandchildren, you know, we, when we arrived there, the first thing we said was, Elvis stays here, can we go to his house? And they're like, nah, we've never been to his house, you know, we don't go to his house, yeah. you know? And, and, and it was sort of a weird kind of thing about it, you know? But, I mean, we ended up going because the record company came over and they wanted to take yeah, us there, yeah, you yeah. know? And so, and so it's just something that you do as a tourist. But it's like anything, when you stay in a city like that, you know, you tend to ignore the, 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 the landmarks, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean, and, and do the funky things. It's a long way from Clyde Bank, though, isn't it? It was a long it. way from <laughs> Clyde Bank, especially coming off the, the... We were that used to Scottish weather, and then you yeah. just came in and it was 90-odd yeah. degrees. And we'd go out and uh, sunbathe and stuff like that in the ghetto. We say, look at these white guys, crazy white guys, are 110 <laughs> degrees. blue skin. Uh, <laughs> totally. We go well red. Uh, so 20 years in the yeah. industry, forget Elvis, let's talk wet, wet, wet. Yeah. 20, years, dead, man. 20 years in the industry, are you still enjoying it now as much as you did when you first started? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're still trying to kind of write the perfect song. That, that, mm. That's what keeps us going, you know. Yeah, and... Shane Reg Presley wrote the one. Well, <laughs> you wrote the biggest hit, absolutely, you know, but you, can't, you know, that... That's something that just, you know, happened. Uh, you know, there was no planning put into that or anything. Like, it was just, yeah. we got offered to do this song and we did it and events overtook us really, you know, but I'm thankful we did it, you know what I mean? But it's, it's great because, you know, we can uh, come back together, we can try and write songs and uh, we can go out there and play live. And, you're know. still a big live band, aren't you? You did the big arena tour, which was yeah. sold out, wasn't we, it? We did phenomenally well yeah. with that, you know, because we... And did you expect that? Because it had been a while since you'd been... Well, sort of I think that uh, everybody who have enjoyed us over the years always know that we're a great mm. live act to come mm. and see. You know, that's what that's what everything makes sense. I know that says we love to play live, but mm. that's where it genuinely does really all come together for us. Mm. That's the time we're, we're most happy because we can't argue with each other. Right. <laughs> we're so, on stage so there, there we're doing what we do. When you weren't together, 
I remember had there a small a... sabbatical. <laughs> yes. Uh, Me and my <laughs> buddy. Yes. <laughs> so, so what kind of clicked it all back together? Was it just, you know, time growing up, all that sort of I stuff? Think, I think money. Uh, money. money. <laughs> An element of, <laughs> you know, the, 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 to keep them in the lifestyle, uh, the lifestyle that everybody justly deserves. And right, that. I see. But I think it was, you know, uh, there was a time where we weren't working together and then when we came back, mm. you know, we could, it was all about rekindling a friendship mm. first and then the music came mm. after that and uh, the tours and so on and so forth. And that's what it was about. Our wants and our needs from each other yeah. are completely different. Because you just still do solo stuff, don't you? You're on the West End, I know that you've you've done mm -hmm. Chicago. And what's the other Witches of Eastwick? I'm going to do the Witches, yeah. the Witches of Eastwick, yeah. That's uh, an art project I'm working on at the end of the year. I think that's just uh, to afford the luxury of being able to try different things and mm -hmm. having an eclectic career is brilliant, as well as being able to sing with Wet Wet Wet, which has been great, because through that I get the luxury of being able to do these things. Oh. So I'm really indebted to... <laughs> To you, Graham, and I'd like to thank you on live television. <laughs> no problem, mate. No problem. Um, you got a new single out. Uh, it's gone into the charts already, hasn't it? Oh, is it? I think so. Uh, let's have a look. Top ten. Here you go. Top ten. Marty, can I ask you a serious question? You know, oh. we, know we know you've um, uh, had your problems with Fast World. Nice Do like. Documented in uh, with... That's uh, easy for you to say. <laughs> Get to the point, you. man. When you see Amy Winehouse and all these people and they're, they're, they're indulging, what, what do you feel when you, when you see these people and they've got problems with drugs now? Well, you know, uh, yeah, it's a sad state of affairs, you know, but that, that's, that's Amy's stuff and I'm sure that uh, her and her family will be able to sort it out together. That's really all I've got to say in the matter. OK. Yeah. So is it hard though being in the in the music industry? Is this you know? To, I, to be honest, I don't think it's just the music industry. You know what I mean? I think it's you know, it's a problem. Whatever industry you're in, you know, and and it just so happens that everybody thinks that the music industry is such this such a glamorous thing, you know, and 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 really, you know, there's people in the city probably doing much worse things than, than the people. Than people will do in the music I think one industry. thing people forget about the music industry, which is why bands fall out often, it's it's really hard work, isn't it? Because yeah, people I mean, that, thinking all you do is turn up and play cut, but it's touring is it, it can it can you know, I think with us anyway, you know, we, we got to this point where, you know, we we'd had all this success and, and really when when you run as fast as we did for as long as we did, you, you always know that something somewhere's gonna trip you up. And and really you know, I think the best thing that we did was was kind of go away for a few years and think about and try and reintegrate into some sort of whatever normal life is, you know, and, 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 and that's what we ended up doing. And, you know, it enabled us to come back and, and have a fresh perspective of what we were trying to do, you know. Just think, if you hadn't slipped through the net, you'd be managing football teams we now, would be, you? would be, yeah. Just... Well, they'd all go horribly wrong. Me and Graham yeah. used to play football, you know, our keep-up skills are quite legendary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we can find a ball what, somewhere what in the studio. I would like to think so. What position were you? Uh, no, aye. Reserve sub. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Good ball shot. Extraordinaire. <laughs> All right, Martin Graham, we stay with us and take your emails along with Explorer Simon Reef. If you've got a question to ask them, send us an email uh, by the BBC website, bbc.co.uk forward slash food. Right, now it's time for deja vu and a particularly splendid series from which... You want to read this, Marty? No, my joined up writing's absolutely terrible and my reading's even worse. How about now, Marty Graham? Wait, wait, wait. Join in the kitchen. In the kitchen. In the yeah. kitchen. Glasgow boys, can you cook? You better believe it, and it doesn't involve deep Fine. fat frying, yes. Deep, you're, you're very. So, seriously, to get three Scottish people on a sofa chatting about being pescatarians and vegetarians, it's quite unusual these days. It certainly is. Yeah. It is. Though, though some of the Scottish cuisine is, uh, uh, is wonderful, you know, and the produce yeah. is absolutely amazing. So, uh, it ain't all about deep fried Mars bars and it's deep not, fried pizzas. It's not, it's not. It's a bit of a myth that. But you, do, you do have that bad reputation, don't you? It's one of those things that, yeah. you know, people yeah. always sort of highlight the things that are kind of bad in it. It's like, like brilliant mm. restaurants, like you say, yeah. produce up in Scotland, you've got yeah. some fresh, magnificent fresh. stuff. Superb. You really do. How long have you been veggie for? For about, nah, uh, since about 2000, 2001. You just sort of made the decision. This morning. <laughs> <laughs> just 
be difficult. <laughs> Purely because we had no bacon. All right, well, we're, we're going to make yes. a tea loaf, um, which is a very simple thing to do. Uh, and what it should be, whenever tea loaf, it should be nice and moist. Because mm. sometimes when you get them, they're dry, you know, they don't have enough moisture in them, and you think, mm, you know, it tastes kind of quite nice, but it's a bit crumbly. It yeah. should be moist and, and, and delicious. And it's dead simple. So we've got currants, raisins, and sultanas, all of them kind of quite dry, so you need to put some moisture into them. Great. Tip all of those into that bowl, minus the egg. And then next to it, then we've got some strong Earl Grey tea. Now, you can use whatever tea you want. Earl Grey just happens to be my favourite, so mm. it can be whatever you want. You know, if you like Lapsang Lady Souchong. Grey. Yeah. Lady, Lady Grey, like as well. I kind of like it. on the palate, I find. Do you think? Oh, more yes. than Earl Grey. Yeah, a little bit, little bit more delicate. Yeah, a little bit more delicate. <laughs> Sit the tea on there. Or you could use builders, whatever, builders you, tea. whatever you want. You know, traditionally, you'd use builders straight tea. In. Straight in there, yeah. Um, and whatever you want to use, you, if you want to use green tea, it really doesn't matter. Oh, the tea, tea is purely a way of actually bringing out some flavour from the uh, from the fruit mm. and also to soften it and put some moisture into the cake itself. Okay. So, you know, right. if you like rue bush, whatever it might be, whatever tea you want. Then, the important thing is you then leave that overnight and this is what we end up with. So all of the fruit has plumped up and of course it's taken on the flavour nice. of the tea. If you, if you, <laughs> if you nice. wanted to oh, nice. add another flavour, you could add a little, little nip of brandy, a little nip of rum, a oh. nip of whiskey in there, oh. it would be great. So you get like a, a boozy flavour cake, oh. which is great as well. Yes. Yeah, Very which nice. of course <laughs> is always nice. So, then... <laughs> <laughs> All of this moisture we need. You're, you're done. That was the hard work, Marty. Job done. You. Job done. I'm going on. The other ingredients <laughs> that we've got: self raisin flour, soft light brown sugar, egg. Then we've got some cinnamon and we've got some nutmeg. Now, traditionally, when you're kind of baking, do you do any baking? Well, I have been known to adorn the, the, the occasional baking chain of thought. <laughs> so you're, you're that rarity because no one ever bakes that comes on, do they? No, it's, it's especially men. You're slightly starstruck today, aren't you? Uh, you know what? Every time I catch you, you're just, <laughs> you're just staring at Marty. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, like that teenage kind of like. It's it all right. Odd. All past. Can I, can all past. Just, it's a bit odd. Really? Yeah, it had all posters everywhere. <laughs> it's passing. <laughs> just, just it's, it's the hair. Now the hair's flat. I can deal with it. Ah, but it was it, a spiky. It was it a spiky yeah, move? I was 13 years old though, 20 years ago. Mm. Well, it's great. Kind of yeah. well, what was your favourite song? I'm intrigued now. I've never seen like this before. Or I don't, know. Um, don't. <laughs> don't do <this. laughs> He's been horrible. He is. Uh, I don't know. It was, yeah, about, one it of was those. about the smile and the, and the spikes and all that. Was it a smile and yeah, spikes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was. Moving on. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> Right. OK, so, Marcy, we've got... So, normally, when, you, when you're baking, basically what you do is you'll have wet ingredients and you add the dry ingredients, <laughs> yeah. but you would normally combine the dry ingredients, then you'd add, then you'd add the wet to them. With this, we're going to go the other way. The wet, wet, wet ingredients... <laughs> in oh, he's good, oh, 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 thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> then yeah. what you need to do is just tip all of those in there and break the egg in as well, then just stir it. That's it. It's that simple. All of those go straight into there. Don't oh, yeah. So, so I, I'd usually have a roadie or somebody at this, at this point, <laughs> somebody to come in, a mino. They're, they're over there, they're kind of just waiting. But to all this in all, here? All in? Yeah. You sure not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, all in. It's that simple. So you live in France now? Sometimes. Between yep. France and any other. Yeah. Like Anywhere it will have me, basically. Right. And the egg. And, and the, the egg, egg, too? Yeah. All goes in. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? One handed. <laughs> I'll just put that down there. Excuse me while I wash my hands. It's all about hygiene, isn't it? Now, you can either use a spoon or you could, you could do it by hand so you can feel it in your oh, fingers. Really? But it's a tell. Oh, I feel like he's got a long <laughs> tip. I'm going in. <laughs> I'd use a spoon, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah, well, the thing is, yeah, just... but, but the, the, if you want to use my hands, it's fine. Because the nice thing, I always think, if you're doing bacon, is if you actually do something that's tactile, it does give you, you know, a better feel so of how, how it should yeah, be. Yeah, just right. go in and just mix it all together. Oh, it's yes. Oh, the sensuality in it's this. Good, isn't it? <laughs> you can feel it. Oh, I can yeah. really feel that. Oh, can you smell those aromas? I know you can't at home, but it's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. That's... Sorry, I was morphing into bulb. Parts in there, wasn't it? <laughs> That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? <laughs> and really, kind of work it, just kind of get yourself in there. Until it's all combined, and you see, so the moisture that's coming from the fruit, so first thing it's going to be, it's going to be too you wet. You do realise I'm so mischievous with this. Yeah. You can, you can really <laughs> get this link to become so complicated. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do? Take with that them thought now? out of your head that you're thinking now, <laughs> and let him. Like I was 13, <laughs> that thought didn't enter my head. Okay. Okay. What do you want to do with it now? Okay. Yes. Now, strange there. Into, into a loaf tin. Just tip it in. Just tip it in. It, whatever you want to do, mate. Whatever, whatever works. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's good. 
Let's get all of that out of there. That, that's nice. So, so the thing with it is, the, the key with this is you've got to make sure that you let it soak overnight. Work. If you don't sure. let it soak overnight, then obviously the fruit won't plump up and you won't get it moist enough. Miles, you can wash your hands. That was, that was brilliant. Waste not, want not. Yeah. <laughs> Into the oven for about an hour or so. Now, you can reheat this, which is what we've done. So we've kind of cooked it and then reheat it. And the key now... Just an hour. Out it comes. Just an hour. Mm. There we go. Mm, so real beauty. And it's warm. And what you want is when you slice this, it should be moist. It shouldn't be a dry cake. This should be... Look at that. Oh, that's oh, ah, that, 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 that's <laughs> good, isn't it? You know, that, tea that's cakes go. That's, 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 that's beautiful. On tour food, is it not? That's, that's, nice. that's comfort food, that. Yeah. That's yeah, food. it is. Really it, it, it's, it's kind of... It's a pud that you want with, like, a, a cup of tea or with a coffee, you know what I mean, rather mm. than kind of being mm. a, after a meal. And I'm just going to serve it with... Ah. You're good at doing these things that a lot of other chefs avoid and just kind of ignore. Like what? Like, like this sort of stuff, after this, teas. The, the, it's all these things are brilliant. I like all this. You yeah, know, yeah, I, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Same here. I, I, love love I love Clutty Dumpling back in Scotland, which mm. is heavy and yeah, yeah. it's really beautiful. I, I, I like all those things. I think, you know, stuff that you always imagine if you're kind of sitting in a nice hotel, you want afternoon tea yeah. and you want a bit of this, don't you? Yeah. You, know, you, you don't do, really want, do, like, do, fancy yeah. cream cakes. I mm. want this. Yeah. I want this sort of comfort food. That's good. And then all we do, so we've got the whole cake there. taste it. Lay it like that. It looks very pretty. Boys, right, dig in. Olive, dig oh, that's well. fantastic, man. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's beautiful. You can take the boy out of clay oh, bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> take clay bag out of bag. And it's moist and it's springy. I want to try it's very this. delicate way you're eating that, Graham. I'm kind of quite impressed with that. Good. That's beautiful. No, it looks dry, but it's not, is it? No, that's it. That's the oh, thing about cool. it. It's, it's think... got to be that moist. All right, all today's mm. recipes are available on the BBC website, mm. bbc.co.uk forward mm. slash food or text mm. weekend to 8, 10, 10. Mm. And we'll send the recipes straight to you. Uh, this was from Laura and Maggie in Belfast. Marty, would you ever release a jazz single since you're doing a jazz tour in April? What is a jazz tour? Well, it's just some songs that I recorded after I did a week's residency in uh, Ronnie Scott's last year. Um, made an album of it. And I'm going to go on tour in, uh, um, in April, and it's just a collection of standards, and, but it's my you, kind of little twist on it. Where are you touring that, if people want to see? All over the UK. Starts in Scotland and then basically ends in London, so it's all through April. 